Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a beginner's core workout. So we'll do 10 exercises with 30 seconds of exercise and 20 seconds of rest. Uh, during the resting phase, I'll show you the next exercise. So this is a follow along uh, routine. So grab yourself a mat, uh, a bit of floor space and let's get started. Right, you ready? So the first one will be some flutter kicks. So all this is is lying on your back and then no more than 45 degrees. Just kick your legs nice and quickly. Okay, you ready? Stop there. Next one is a seated twist, so twisting and keeping the core nice and tight. To make it harder, you can lift your legs off the floor. If you're finding that's a little bit too difficult, then pop your feet back on the floor and just do the seated twist like this. Keep your torso moving and your shoulders pointing towards the ground each side. Try not to cheat and just move your hands from side to side. Okay, a little bit of rest now. Next one is going to be a bridge with some leg raises. So on your back, on your feet, bum up in the air, and then just lift the legs alternately. Off you go. Next one is oblique dips. So we'll start off on the left side to begin with. Lift up and then we're just gonna dip to the ground to make it a little bit harder. Up on your arm and dip down off you go. finding it difficult to balance on one hand and always go down onto your elbow and forearm. And stop that. Okay, next one are some mountain climbers with alternate knees to elbow. So my right knee to my left elbow left knee to my right elbow. Stay in that position and do a nice simple plank for now. Just 
Try and keep your hips square to the floor, so nice and neutral. Make sure you're not sort of sticking your bum up too much or sagging down too low. Try and keep them nice and neutral so your body's in a fairly straight line. If you've got problems with the wrists, then do by all means go down onto your elbows. Okay, we're back and doing the right hand oblique dips this time. It's exactly the same as last time. Stop that. Okay, next one is the body arch. So try and get your elbows at head height rather than under your arms, under your shoulders, and just hold the body arch position. Next one is we're going to do a laying leg raise, so on your back and then just lifting your legs straight up in the air. Try not to bend your knees as you do this. Try and avoid dropping heels onto the floor, just stop just before they touch the floor. Up there. The final one is a V sit. So, last exercise, dig deep. Try and keep your legs straight if you can and tilt your body backwards. So, it could be the dish or the V sit. If you're really struggling at this point, then you can bend your knees a little bit. Try not to obviously let them drop onto the floor. I'm diving to the ocean to face the storm. Well done. If you found this workout a little bit too easy, we do have uh, the intermediate version. So go and check that one out um, and challenge your core a little bit more. Hope your core has sufficiently worked. It's a little exercise routine that you can do pretty much every day. It only takes just over 10 minutes uh, to get it done um, and you'll see massive improvements in your core and that'll translate to massive improvements uh, in your climbing as well when the time comes. All right, thank you for watching. Bye. I'm chasing fire